Alrighty, so we're back and we're here just to quickly talk about everything um, before we start building. Again, uh, we've already gone through what's inside of the kit when it comes to you. A couple things I'm going to do is uh, just by when we were quickly looking through everything, uh, we wanted to make note of before we continued. I'm going to move some of the obvious pieces away like the wheels and whatnot and the bases. But one thing that's uh, nice about this kit that I haven't seen before is that all the parts are clearly labeled. Um, that's very nice and they tell you the quantity on the sticker. Uh, which is good. For example, this one says top chassis. So another one here that actually says the uh, second layer mounting plate. These are all really nice and they actually refer back to the manual with those names. Um, just to kind of go through everything that we have, to make sure you have everything in your kit. So in this kit we're going to have, let's start off with the battery mounting plate. It looks like it has four screws in there and uh, two black plates with a couple nuts. We also have these sensors that we talked about earlier. It turns out these are bump enters. So it detects the fact and actually click. They're like a button. It's kind of nice. Well, that'll be interesting. We have a bunch of sensor mounts. I'm just going to kind of get them all out and let's see here. So, for example, here we have the uh, ultrasonic mount kit, ultrasonic sensor mounting kit. Here we have the rear IR mounting kit right here. Really nice. Um, over here, more ultrasonic sensors pan tilt bracket, so this looks like it's going to uh, house a servo of some sort. Um, let's see here, a caster wheel, motor rings, some wheel hubs, here a control panel uh, mounting bracket. Supporting pillars, so I guess it's going to be used to support some of the bases. Kind of nice. These here are called the uh, top side bits. Actually, side is all sense now. Uh, in terms of what can we work with, it actually. for when you put the wires through the holes for those sensors so it doesn't get cut up or frayed. Motor mounting brackets. Caster mounting bracket. I'll be used for the wheel. Front IR mounting bracket. So IR sensors will be mounted to this. And some DC motors plus more. There's uh, you can already see there's some sensors and oh no 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 just the uh, motors actually never mind take that back but uh, what I'm looking at here is that it's nicely mounted with some DF robot uh, uh, components here that are from our experience have always been really nice to work with and of course we already have these uh, so the M4 steel hex socket heads and a screw bag miscellaneous screw bag M6 steel hex uh, screw head cap screws. Now this is a wrench, but they're calling it a spanner. And the hex screwdriver set, which is basically hex keys. And we had two uh, two pieces here that's floating around in the box. So we'll make sure we hold on to that just in case we need those. Um, we might not need them, but let's see what happens. So that's it. Next, next uh, video coming up is you'll see us actually constructing and putting together the HCR mobile kit.